What is going on guys? Today I'm doing my second class breakdown video, that being of the Cleric. If you missed the first one of the tank, we'll take a look at the video at the end of this video or in the description below. Otherwise, let's dive into it. What we know about this class is the abilities of levels 1 through 10. Keep in mind this is alpha and all of this could change, some of these abilities may not even exist in the end of the alpha, but it will give you a good idea of what to expect for the cleric class when jumping into alpha 1. In such a dangerous world, a cleric is never wanting for friends. They can protect their allies in numerous ways and when necessary, snuff the life out of others. Masters over the very essence of life, they can sense the broken and the corrupted. Life of a cleric isn't always easy, but thankfully they have a number of skills to help dominate on the battlefield and keep their party in the fight. Castigation. Whip your foes into shape. Castigation lashes your target with a holy energy dealing direct damage. It will also regenerate health and mana for your surrounding allies. Judgment. Judgment crushes your target with holy power dealing direct damage and lowering their damage mitigation. Hollowed Ground. This ability fills the surrounding area with radiant energy, damaging enemies and healing allies. Exorcism. Unleash a bout of holy power that rips at your target's spirit channeling damage over time, and at the end of the channel, Exorcism blasts divine energy damaging nearby enemies. Damnation. Curse your target, dealing holy damage over time and lowering their damage output. Increasing this power also snares your target and extends its reach to surrounding enemies. Devotion. This ability is a swift act heal for your target, adding a heal over time and small area of healing around them as this power grows. Divine Censure. Launch a Radiant Spear at your target, dealing damage. Anytime that foe is attacked, it grants the attacker a chance at being healed. Benediction. A chain heal among your allies, increasing the number it affects as you grow stronger. Resurrection. Bring an ally back from the grasps of death. For some of these abilities, you may have noticed it states that the ability changes as it grows stronger. What this means is that with each active ability, passive skill, or weapon, you have the option to put more skill points into it, upgrading how the spell or weapon itself plays out on the battlefield, and does things such as increasing enemies attacked, or allies healed, or proc bleeds on specific weapons. What are your thoughts on the Cleric in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you are new to Ashes of Creation and want to jump in on the forums, or purchase some cosmetic skins on the website, feel free to use my referral link in the description below otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for a lot more to come